Good morning! Well, today Andrew is going to show us around um, vintage typewriters. We've got three really great um, specimens here. So uh, yeah, Andrew, take it away! All right, um, I love typewriters and I know a lot of people out there love typewriters also. And so when we get them, I get pretty excited, especially when we get these real subcompacts. Um, these are like your um, little uh, subcompact portable uh, uh, computers these days, but they're very tiny. So. This one here is a Hermes Rocket from 1954. Um, it's a great little machine. It was very popular with writers because of how portable it was. It was, um, you know, not a lot of extra luggage and it's very lightweight. Uh, it has all the general features of a typewriter that are needed. Um, and and it was, uh, it's got a little um, flip up lever here for the return so that it'll fit into its box. A little uh, paper holder here to, to keep your paper up. Uh, this one, I believe, has a standard English keyboard on it. Uh, this is a Swiss machine, and uh, it works great. These do um, benefit from a little tune-up. Um, so there are still some shops that do tune-ups on these, so they can benefit from that, uh, or just a good cleaning. And they do need new ribbons. The ribbons tend to be dried out by the time we get them. The great thing is the ribbons on these are available in all kinds of colors as well as split. So you can get you can get blue and purple, you can get green and red. People do that at Christmas time and they take their letters alternately. Uh, so anyway, that's a great, great machine. Uh, they're very uh, popular, kind of hard to find now. Uh, there's been a lot of great authors that have used this machine also. I believe Ian Fleming used it. Um, I don't remember the list now. <laughs> when you check these out on uh, Community Forklift Marketplace, we have a list of authors that have used the machines. But not these specific ones, Not these specific ones, <laughs> these models of machines. Unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> then they'd be worth a lot more money. So The next one is an Olympia SF. It's a pretty rare um, machine. A little bit better from a typing perspective and um, a slightly larger also. It's in excellent condition. All the chrome is nice and bright. It types beautifully. Uh, and the only problem I found on it is the uh, case. There's a little zipper tear at the back here. Um, it's a very minor thing, just needs to be sewn back through and maybe the entire zipper sewn just so it doesn't come apart later. So it's a very nice portable um, machine with its case. This actually came with a little poem inside and we'll slip that back in the pocket so you'll get a poem with it too. Um, I this get one. is a 1960s machine. I'm not sure exactly what year. Um, but it's a great little machine. I just wrote, this works. <laughs> <laughs> what better way to test it? <laughs> yep, and actually does the ribbon does have enough ink in it that it works. So I love that machine. I wish I could have all of them, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then we move on to, first of all, the desk. Um, this is exactly what this drawer uh, in this desk was designed for to hide away a typewriter. And on it, we have a Smith Corona 88 Secretarial from 1954. And um, that is a machine that was meant to type on all day by a secretary. Um, and it's in excellent condition also. It has a lot of really great features. So it's, it's like uh, all the bells and whistles compared to these other smaller machines. But of course, it's not something you take out to the beach to type your next blog post. Um, so this one has automatic margin releases on it, so I can I can push back on the um, carriage here and release the margin and set it wherever I want. Very simple, and now it'll always return to that spot. Um, same thing with the right side. Uh, it's got a little. Um, this is a very cool, innovative thing that Smith Corona did. This red stripe. It tells you when you're about out of paper. Um, so when you're typing away, type it away. Um, people that type that fast in offices weren't even paying attention to their paper, but this would tell them that their paper was almost out and that they, were, they had to end their sentence. Um, look at the gorgeous graphics on those knobs, the little stepped green knobs, uh, the beautiful color. I love that green. This also has a really cool feature for people that need to maintain these, which is that the platen comes out very easily you just pull these two little guys here there's one on each side and the whole thing comes out so if you drop a paper clip down in there or something it's very easy to clean it out or just to get dust out of it 
So again, this is this is one of the features of this machine that just makes it a real workhorse. Um, they only made these for I think seven years in the 1950s. It has all kinds of settings for this is for multiple um, colors of ribbon, and this one's to reverse the ribbon so you can go back, the, turn the rolls around. Tab setting, tab clear, and tab set. Uh, we still have tab on our computers, so let's see if it's set. Yeah, it is set right there for a few tabs. So anyway, another great machine. Uh, it does type well. No sticky keys. There's the ding, so you get that nice little rich ding. So, great little machine, and we have a little ad here. It's not this exact machine, it's another year. And what's unique about this machine, they only did this for two years, is these sort of racing stripes on the side. This machine has both of them on both sides, which is uh, pretty rare. Most of the ones I've seen for sale are missing those entirely, or there's only one of them left. Um, so this machine is in great condition compared to a lot of the ones that are available out there. So that's the, the uh, Smith Corona, the Hermes, and the Olympia sewing, um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> typewriters. <laughs> I have some sewing machines coming up soon, too. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yep. <laughs> now, this is the special thing. Hermes. You get it? Hermes wings? That's excellent. These are the Hermes wings. And that's how you access the uh, ribbon. Very aptly named. Yep. Yeah, well, thanks for showing us, Andrew. Yeah, these, are, these are really awesome. And if you guys want to get more information on these, uh, they're all listed on our marketplace. And that's communityforklifemarketplace.org. So you can check them out there. You can also see them here at the warehouse. We're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. And uh, also, actually, the desk is also listed on the marketplace. So if you uh, love the uh, the sea foam, um, you're all set. So, all right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And uh, I'll forward those on to Andrew. But otherwise, have a great day.